Welcome back, you're watching Young Turks. Now our next guest is a quintessential maverick. He started his own company when he was just 14. He dropped out of engineering college. Does he sound like Bill Gates in the making? We are talking about the world's youngest CEO, Suhas Gopinath. Now Suhas founded his company Globals Inc. in 2000. It basically provides cloud technology to the web and e-commerce and mobile spaces with its two flagship products, EduCube and Suprio. Globals Inc. is tied up with both the state and private schools to empower education in villages. Going 100% year on year, Suhas claims Global Inc. today is a multi-million dollar venture. Here's his story. Hi, my name is Suhas Gopinath. I'm age 26 years. I started my company when I was 14 years. Suhas Gopinath did not have an ordinary childhood. At 14, when his classmates were living the carefree high school life, Sahas decided to work at an internet cafe in Bangalore for free to get access to a computer and think up his business plan. A self-taught web designer, Sahas freelanced and built websites for American SMEs and with the revenue generated, he started his own website, CoolHindustan.com. But when age began to get in the way of business, he decided to start Globals Inc. in 2000. The company had to be registered in Silicon Valley as a miner couldn't launch a company under Indian law. Initially focused on web application and product development services, Suhas worked with startups in the US and Europe. While he has made it to the Limca Book of Records, Suhas's age has actually worked against him. One of the hurdles which I faced was my age itself because uh, uh, of the fact that I started my organization at a very young age. I started when I was 14. and. Uh, and it so happened that whenever I used to, I used to attend sales calls or like whenever I used to have meetings uh, or, or if I had to attend some probably the CEO's meets or, uh, or if I had to attend some uh, for seminars or conferences, uh, I used to have people who used to walk up to me and who would tell me that, hey Suhas, uh, are you accompanied by, with your dad or with your uncle here to these meetings? And at the same time for some years I was forced to sport a moustache so that I could look old whenever I used to attend some meetings, but uh, I think uh, actually if I had to summarize the major hurdles which I faced was uh, uh, actually attending meetings and having the people to accept me very seriously material of my education qualification or my age and at the same time to like actually to having working with, uh, with actually employees whose, uh, whose experience was my age. In 2008, Suhas turned his attention to bridging the tech gap in education and the public sector and bet on the cloud. Currently being used in 250 schools in India, Global's flagship product, EduCube, automates educational institutes starting from a student's admission procedure to his return as an alumni. Globalink's newest innovation is Suprayog, a cloud-based telephony solution to reach out to village schools. Suhas and his team of 150 capture real-time data from schools and collate it for policymakers in state governments. The product aims at curbing teacher absenteeism, reducing student dropouts and allowing teachers to collaborate with their peers in other schools. Suhas and his team have been responsible for automation of the midday meal scheme to enhance accountability and transparency. We also work in Indian uh, government where uh, we've been working with Anganwadis to uh, to automate the way the uh, uh, probably Anganwadis are uh, are operated and administrated as of now, and and in India we've also been working with Sarvasiksha to to implement uh, to implement systems to uh, to ensure that the policymakers have access to fresh data uh, uh, probably from the schools which are in villages which. Uh, which is not able to send uh, probably information on time to the policymakers. Suhas's ideas have caught the attention of investors. Last year, Globals Inc. raised funds from two strategic investors, on four operating partners, and Commonwealth Education Trust UK. With a 100% growth rate year on year, Suhas claims Global Inc. is a multi-million dollar venture. 
now 26, Tsaras has been given the Young Achiever Award by the European Parliament and the International Association for Human Values and in 2008 the World Economic Forum announced him a young global leader. When I founded my company uh, from the medias across the world, I was uh, uh, I was actually recognized as the world's youngest CEO because uh, uh, at that point of time uh, I happened to be the youngest person to have incorporated an enterprise. And uh, I'm also an advisory board member at the ICT uh, advisory uh, board of the World Bank. Of recently, also uh, bagged award called as a Social Innovators Award which was organized by the Social Innovators Park in Singapore. Having proven the naysayers wrong, Suhas now looks to further innovate in the space of education for other emerging markets and plans to tap international markets in the Middle East, South Africa, the US, Germany and UK. So I is wishing you the very best of luck. It's time now for us to take a break, but when we return the story of a duo that has 72 mm dreams. Stay tuned to Young Turks for more.